Welcome to Spacecraft Guide, the channel that goes over the most iconic spacecraft in the world. In this issue of Spacecraft Guide, we're going to work on the International Space Station and on the caution and warning panel, we're going to work on the button, the Delta Pressure Push button. And when you click on it, it takes you to the rapid change in pressure push button. Now, this is uh, a warning that comes on when there is too much of a change in pressure, usually a leak in the International Space Station. And it illuminates when rapid change in ch cabin pressure is detected in pressurized elements. Push buttons are used for manual event initiation and silencing events. Now, as you can see, there are several of the uh, events that can happen, but this one, rapid change in pressure, is one of the class one emergencies that's by definition, an event that causes a life-threatening condition. So that is what you would be dealing with if you, this alarm went off. Now, the interesting thing here is the non-normal operations. And if you click on the non-normal, it takes you to the leak pinpoint and repair node one. Now, one of the interesting things, I see this in a lot of the checklists, but they talk about all the things that you might need here. Um, these are all reference. So you want to be familiar enough with the checklist to say, okay, these are the things I need, but time is critical. It, we're losing pressure. This is a class one emergency. So we just passed it up. If we go here to the node one ingress steps, you got to come all the way down here and it says go to ingress node one and then find the maximum duration that for the node one ingress. In other words, you got to find how much time uh, that you have to work on this problem, because if you don't have enough time, you could asphyxiate by the loss of oxygen and loss of pressure in that station. So that's, you can see, that is the, the, the second thing you do in this checklist, but it's after all these other stuff. So you have to be, you have to be situationally aware of these emergency checklists. And then you can go down after you calculate, then you can start fixing the problem that you'll have with the leaks within the node one. That's all for this week. If you would like to use this interactive virtual reality exhibit on the command module, the lunar module, and the surface of the moon, just go to our Patreon page and the link will be down below.